Hey guys, welcome back to Do News. I am your host, King of Do, and just wanted to uh, stop on by here real quick with you guys and go over the uh, market situation, especially with Ethereum. So if you own Ethereum over the last 24 hours, you're a happy, happy person right now. Uh, hitting some all-time highs, unbelievable. Uh, GDAX, we hit about 233. Um, but uh, we have really leveled off in about the last hour, so keep an eye on that. At some point, we're going to hit a ceiling. And like every market there ever has been in the history of mankind, there's going to be some type of pullback. And I don't know if it's going to be at 230 or it could be at $300. I don't have a clue, but one is sure to come after a spike like this. Uh, typically, we see waves, but this is quite the spike. Now, a lot of people are contributing it to the uh, Chinese exchange that has opened up. Um, you know, last night I was kind of trolling through the forums a little bit, reading of people's opinions, and my own, my personal opinion is that the exchange isn't going to do anything more to help with, um, demand, because there's plenty of ways to get your ether, guys, uh, even in China. The thing that's going to change is the volatility. Exchanges allow things for, uh, to happen that are very unusual, like margin trading, so people can borrow money and make large bets and really move the markets. So my prediction was we're going to see a lot of vol volatility. This is potentially the start of that. This is potentially a huge swing upward that historically we don't typically see. Um, and we may see huge swings downward um, as well um, as uh, the market manipulators and the, and the whales still control this market, um, you know, if you're in it for the long haul, you're going to win just fine because the, the market will win eventually no matter what. And the whales will eventually get shaken out and it'll get too expensive and too risky and etc. But right now, they're still large and in charge. Um, I would, uh, you know, I'd be careful right now. Keep an eye on the market. Be watching it a little bit. Don't be scared, though. I hope most of you have locked up some ether for a long haul. I have a special wallet myself that I do not touch it. It just compiles uh, ether I set aside to not touch under any circumstance. I do have some ether that I like to buy in and buy out and try to grow the ether amount from time to time when I see the opportunity. And uh, those opportunities are rare. Uh, it's usually when I see a whale uh, hit his, you know, hit the keyboard on accident. <laughs> Um, and, you know, we've seen those days where we see $20, 30 $40, uh, in, you know, price change in less than 10 minutes. And so when I see those kind of movements, that's usually where I'll, you know, I might, I might buy on the dip. You know, I might be selling along the way and buy on the dip real quick because it's so obvious when it happens. Uh, they don't do it very, very wisely or carefully. It's just a complete you know, boom, a crash. Another thing I'd be looking out for in particular today, especially, and that's why I'm doing this video, 7 p.m. on the West Coast um, is essentially the time markets are opening up in Asia. Um, and we almost always see on Polonex massive amounts of traffics and, and trades. And we may see the site crash again today, um, especially with all the hype around Ethereum right now. There's a lot of altcoins hitting all time high. Stratus is out through the roof right now things like that. So um, just be aware of the clock and maybe uh, schedule some time to be sitting there watching it, learning, uh, seeing what's happening. Um, but don't panic. Uh, you know, try to have a plan before you sit down if, if you are trying to make plans um, about buying in or where you want to sell, things like that. But just be careful, guys. Okay, so that's the market cap. I uh, just wanted to bring you that quick update on Ethereum. Really, really exciting. Um, we're, we're still just going straight across here at about 2.30. That seems to be where our resistance is right now. The only times we're getting through it is when someone just comes and pounds a, a, a huge buy right through it. Um, so we'll see how much longer this can last. Uh, there's been an, an immen tremendous amount of wealth created in just the last 24 hours, guys. Um, let's, let's not forget that all that can be gone in an instant, so make sure you guys are prepared you're setting your stop losses if you need them. Um, you're monitoring the markets, and you're just being safe out there because things things couldn't get crazy. So expect this increased volatility. 
Um, expect large ups, large downs, maybe even more often. Um, and we're just going to have to get used to it, guys. I mean, if you look at Bitcoin, this is like every day. This is just how Bitcoin is every day. Hundreds of dollars up and down. Um, you know, it's not going to be long before we're in the world of Ether going hundreds of dollars up and down. So you're just going to have to get used to it. Just going to have to get used to it. Um, and that's it. So, all right, guys. Uh, I'll be back shortly with uh, some information on some ICOs that you might be interested in. As always, uh, share, comment, like, subscribe, follow me on Steemit, upvote me on Steemit, um, and all those good things. All right. So, appreciate your time. I'll see you again soon. And as always, I am the King of Dew. May the Force be with you.